I'm going to show you how to change the rear brakes on this 2020 Volkswagen Jetta GLI. It has an electronic rear parking brake, so you have to use software to actually unlock or open the, the actuator, otherwise you can damage the motor. A lot of times what happens is that you'll have uneven pad wear, whether the front or the rear pad wears unevenly. The only way to see them is to take the wheel off. And these steel rotors come with every car new. They rust and rusting affects their performance. So we get coated rotors to protect from them rusting and degrading performance over time. And then we use carbon ceramic brakes because they're the best of two worlds. They're ceramic, so they're low dust, low noise, but they're also carbon, so they have high heat tolerance and a little bit more bite. Um, so while you're doing this, I recommend putting the battery on tender because you're gonna use, leave the car on accessory mode essentially while you're scanning for everything um, and, at, and running the activations. Engine's completely on. Thing you car. turn, the car's not on. Alright, that's fine. Okay. Uh, Accessory mode, yeah. Alright, so then... Turn ignition on, okay. Press open. Engine off, cycle the parking brake on and off by pressing... Okay, now hold this. I didn't hear it. it. It was a fault and I didn't hear it open. Try to close it. Hold it. Okay, that's working. So now it's closed. Once it's done, it's going to test. Okay, so now it's done, it's test, it's closed. So now we can go back to open and do it again. Now it's working. All right, now we're ready. So we cleaned up, we hit up some brake clean and a wire brush, which is somewhere. Uh, cleaned all the way around where the, the rotor's going to sit and in between where the brake pads sit. So essentially, the plan is to go like this. Once you have the right ones that go on here, Turn it. Brand new brakes installed. One last thing before you put this away. Um, you gotta make sure to plug the electronic parking brake back in. So, you, so basically what, what you gotta do is just put a little flat head into this clip here, into that spot and you just and then you'll hear a crack and then just slide the whole thing slides right off so when you're taking it off don't break this i broke mine don't break this <sighs> greased slider pins greased pads greased pad connections new rotor new pads it just kind of goes like this yeah. mm. And it's just like a retention safety clip. But that's it. That's pretty much. Uh -huh. Just gotta make sure that both of these are on the outside of that. And you can use some tools if your fingers aren't made of steel.